What's up everybody and thank you for joining me for another video. My name is Wack4863, but you can call me Wack. In today's video, we are going to go over some of the test live stuff and jump right into all the new features that they've added for Thrall. So the first thing that I want to show you is I have uh, Lasira here following me and I have my horse following me. So if I just run away a little bit, they will both uh, come and follow me. There you go. You can see both of them are following. So we can ride our horse and have our thrall follow us. Now I do have her set to attack everything. I have my horse set to attack nothing because currently the horses will not attack anymore. So uh, that's a thing. It's uh, probably something where they are balancing uh, the situation, but he's getting attacked. If I go over here and go into behavior and then engagement and I tell him to attack everything, he's just going to stand there. He's not going to do anything. He's just, he's just chilling. So, uh, that's a thing. I think that is something that they have done in order to kind of balance the two follower things is that your horse is just going to be vulnerable all the time. Now you can't interact with your thrall from your horse. You actually have to get off of your horse in order to interact with your thrall. So keep that in mind when you are going into battle. However, there is a new feature. I can tell uh, my thrall to move or I can tell it to stop or I can tell it to uh, come back. That's pretty cool. And that is all set up on X right now. I've changed it to a different key binding. It's super easy to do. You just go into your settings and change the key binding. So uh, single press is going to tell it to go or attack. A double press is going to tell it to stop and a triple press is going to tell it to return which is uh, pretty cool pretty interesting the other thing that you could do is while you are on the horse you can tell your thrall to go somewhere and if we get pretty close to these guys over here we can actually tell her to attack them there she goes she has been told to attack and she's going to dispatch them because she is set to uh, attack everything so something else that's pretty cool, I've spawned in a Thrall or an NPC here, and she should start attacking him and knock him out. Uh, maybe, if not, we'll get we'll get involved here. We'll attack. We'll get some, some knockdown points on him. Almost there, and all right, she's got him. So what you can do is actually bind them while you're on the horse. You can see there, so he's bound and I can drag him around with me. Now, a couple of things that I wanna note with this, and remember this is all test live content, so it is subject to change, but when you get off the horse, you unequip everything in your hands, meaning that your thrall is no longer connected. So if I connect back up to him here, and you can see he's dragging along, and I get on my horse, again, everything is uh, unequipped from my hands and he is no longer being dragged which really wouldn't be a big deal until you get to your wheel of pain so if we connect to him and we're traveling along we're getting uh, back to our base and we get back to our base and we go to interact with the wheel of pain we can't do that so not a big deal we could just get off of our horse and uh, put him on the wheel right well what happens if this guy is bugged out you know that thralls bug out on a regular basis so if he was under mesh or invisible and i had to get off my horse i'd lose him so that's something that i think they should look at they should look at the ability to at least interact with the wheel of pain from horseback i think that would be good and uh is probably something that is important for uh the quality of the game so let's look at the new options in the follower system so if we hard press the interact button we go to behavior we have two options. Option number one is tactics. Option number two is engagement. Let's go into tactics first, and you can see stand and defend, prioritize range, and prioritize melee. If we go back into engagement, we have guard area, attack all enemies, attack distance, chase distance, attack nothing, and guard me. Now, if we go into attack distance, you'll see we have all these different distances, 5, 10, 15, 30, 50. We have the same for chase distance. 
5, 10, 15, 30, 50. So these two options got me wondering how long or how far is 10 meters? How far is 50 meters? How far is 5 meters? So basically, a single foundation, just like that, is two and a half meters. So what I did was created platforms with the one on the left being five meters, then 10 meters, 15 meters, 30 meters, and 50 meters. Now each one of those thralls is set to that distance. So both their attack distance and their chase distance is set to that amount. Now, something that you need to understand is the Aquilonian foundations don't count. It's only the black ice foundations. So one, and two makes the five meters. And this farthest left one is over 50 meters. That way I can test whether they actually stop and run back. So let's get into a little bit of testing. We're going to start right here. I'm going to spawn a medium or large scorpion uh, right on this Aquilonian uh, foundation and show you guys exactly what happens. Now what you're going to see is all the thralls that have uh, that distance come to attack. You can see these guys as well as this guy, all ready for a fight. So if we move over here and we'll do the same thing. Now you can see the activation is not always perfect, although uh, it is working. This guy should be uh, attacking. There he goes. He's now uh, activated. Maybe I just needed to get a little bit closer to him to get him sorted out. But they all want to get uh, to this guy because it's in the range of where they should be attacking. Now, why didn't this thrall move? Basically, I have her set to attack nothing. So, if I spawned in a scorpion right here, she'll stand there and just take a absolute beating. But, I want to do some different testing with her. So, let's go into behavior, and we will go to engagement. We're going to say attack all enemies. We are also going to make sure that her distance is far enough for her to make it through the whole platform. So, we'll do 50 meters. And again, go back in and 50 meters. Now, like I said before, this platform is longer than 50 meters. That one is 50 meters. This one's longer than that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and let this scorpion chase us. And this should be right around the 50 meter mark. So if we get that scorpion to come right on up here, you can see she has activated. Now, what we're going to do is before she gets here, we're going to bring it back past that 50 meter mark. And she does run a little bit further than 50 meters. Uh, but, oh, she killed it too fast. You'll see she runs back. So she comes about 5 meters past 50 meters before she turns around and runs back. But that's okay. I, I think that's all right. Uh, a little bit over uh, the range is not necessarily a bad thing. So what I want to do with this is a lot of you watch my Wednesday live streams where I do live streams about the purge. And what I want to do is I want to use all these new settings uh, in a purge. So plan on seeing that on Wednesday. We'll do a live stream from the test live and we will spawn in some purges and just see uh, how all these different settings work in that kind of scenario. Please do keep in mind that this is all test live and subject to change, uh, but so far I'm really, really impressed with the things that Funcom is doing. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it. I'll catch you next time. I'd like to give Peace. a big shout out to all my YouTube members. Y'all are absolute legends. Thank you to all my subscribers for your continued support, likes, comments, and general awesomeness. If you're not subscribed, you can start your free trial today and cancel at any time. Clicking the bell is highly recommended so you don't miss out on my next upload. There's a couple of videos on the screen. You can follow me over there to continue the conversation.